Thank you, Mr. President. I rise today to honor the life of Fayetteville, Arkansas, police officer Stephen Carr, who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty on Saturday, December 7th. Officer Carr was sitting in his patrol car in the parking lot behind the police station when he was shot and killed. The 27-year-old had been a member of the Fayetteville Police Department for two and a half years and was assigned as a patrol officer in the Dixon Street Entertainment Area. In that short time with the police department, he demonstrated his professionalism and duty to upholding the rule of law. Fayetteville Police Chief described Carr as an exemplary officer who was an all-American boy. Quote, if I had 131 Stephen Cars, I wouldn't be more ecstatic, end quote. The chief said at a press conference over the weekend, Carr grew up in a law enforcement family. He witnessed the dedication, service, and commitment to protecting the community by people he loved. His friends describe him as a strong and kind person whose lifelong dream was to serve as a police officer. He loved spending time outdoors hunting and fishing. A graduate from the Woodlands High School in Woodlands, Texas, Carr played football and earned recognition as an all-district offensive lineman. He went on to play football at Southwest Baptist University in Bolivar, Missouri, and his former coach described him as a young man who made a big impact on campus. We rely on law enforcement officers to keep us safe. Each day they put on their uniform, knowing the risk that come with the public duty to serve and to protect. Officer Carr's death is a reminder of the dangers these first responders face daily and how quickly a situation go from ordinary to deadly, which is why those willing to take on this role deserve both our gratitude and our respect. The outpouring of support from Fayette, the Fayetteville community has been tremendous strength to the police department as they mourn the loss of a brother in the blue. I pray they will find comfort from this encouragement during this very, very difficult time. My thoughts and prayers go out to Officer Carr's family and friends. I also stand with all our Kansans in expressing our gratitude for Officer Carr's service and commit to honoring the sacrifice that he and others have made to protect us. We will forever remember him as a true American hero.